The fallout continues after federal agents raid music mogul Sean Diddy Combs homes in Los Angeles and Miami. And tonight we're hearing from his lawyer for the first time. CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister is on Star Island with the latest. Anna? Yeah, Lauren and Elliot, we are hearing from Sean Combs Diddy, as we know him. We're hearing from his lawyer. He says that authorities used a gross level of military use force to get inside of his homes during this raid. And he says that his client is innocent and that they will continue to work to clear his name. Now, remember, Combs is facing several lawsuits accusing him of sexual assault. But in the latest one, it's filed on behalf of a male producer that worked with Combs. And in it, he is accused accusing Combs of sexual assault and also a member of the royal family is mentioned as well as a Hollywood actor and that actor is accused of sexual misconduct. As cars quietly rolled through music mogul Sean Diddy Combs Star Island property Tuesday, the lawsuits against him are loud and clear. Monday, federal agents raided Combs homes in Miami and LA in connection with a sex trafficking investigation where belongings of Combs were seized. They're looking for evidence that would support whether or not an individual or individuals were coerced and had been located at one of these locations and that that there might be some physical evidence supporting the testimony that these witnesses have alleged. The raid comes a few months after Combs' ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, filed a lawsuit accusing him of rape, sex trafficking, and abuse. A case that was settled out of court a day after it was filed. That was the first of the four lawsuits filed, the most recent a former producer for Combs, Rodney Little Rod Jones. Jones accusing Combs of sexual harassment. In the lawsuit filed on behalf of Jones, his attorney states that Mr. Combs was known for throwing the best parties and states that the mogul used his connections with famous and powerful individuals to lure people in, naming Prince Harry as someone who attended his parties. While Prince Harry is only mentioned once and he is not accused of any wrongdoing, actor Cuba Gooding Jr. is named multiple times. The lawsuit alleges that Combs tried to force Gooding Jr. onto Jones in January 2023 while on a yacht rented by Combs. The lawsuit states that Gooding Jr. began touching, groping, and fondling Mr. Jones' legs, his upper inner thighs near his groin, the small of his back near his buttocks, and his shoulders. After Monday's raid, TMZ obtained video of Combs pacing at the Opelaka Executive Airport Monday. CBS News has also learned Brendan Paul, mentioned in the most recent lawsuit as Combs' drug mule, was arrested at the Opelaka Airport for suspected cocaine and marijuana candy on Monday. TMZ also spotted Combs' private jet in Antigua. So what does this all mean and what could happen next? They will then utilize a grand jury to present this evidence to the grand jury and seek the return of an indictment if they believe that there's sufficient evidence to show that a crime was committed by an individual or individuals. And it's important to note that Combs has not been charged with anything up until this point. And he and his attorney, they're denying all of these allegations. What up, gang? I'm fight with another video. I say I'm fight with another video. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Yes, I said subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Let's get straight into it. Now y'all know when the clip was going viral that Diddy was pacing back and forth in Miami. Well, Diddy wasn't alone. He had an entourage and it was some people that were saying that it was somebody that got arrested, but then it was some people saying, no, nobody got arrested. Well, comes to find out that Diddy alleged drug mule, which is basically like his drug dealer, his drug provider was arrested while Diddy was pacing back and forth. Brandon Paul, 25 years old, was getting arrested and they found drugs. Now, some of y'all may have heard this name before, Brendan Paul. Well, Lil Rod, 
the one that got the lawsuit against Diddy, he said that Brendan Paul was Diddy drug provider. It's in the lawsuit. It's in the paperwork. He says that Diddy, this guy and other people, they be sprinkling stuff on the candy. Allegedly, they have candy with drugs in it. Allegedly. And guess what? The feds found candy with drugs in it. How ironic. Listen, man. A lot of people feel like Diddy swapped them out. Because they say the feds walk past Diddy and grab homie at them and them. Brendan Paul was arrested in Miami on cocaine and marijuana charges. Arrested officers claim Brendan had the contraband inside his personal travel bag. They say they located the cocaine and they tested it. The arrest came at the same time as Diddy Holmes was being raided by Homeland Security. Police was working alongside HS agents when the arrest was made at the Miami Dade Airport, according to the arrest affidavit. As of right now, it's unclear if the arrest and the raids are connected, but Brendan was named in the sex trafficking lawsuit against Diddy as the person who allegedly supplied the mogul with the drugs. Man, come on, man. Y'all know that Diddy will tell something. And y'all know that Diddy would set it up quick to make somebody else take the fall for what his wrongdoing is. Y'all know it all came out about the shine stuff. That Diddy allegedly was the one that shot the gun in the club and shot the girl in the face and had shine take the charge. Even took it so far that allegedly they say he staged a phone call or a recording of shine saying that he was the one that pulled the trigger. That's what put the nail in the coffin for Shine and sun him up the road. Now, is it far-fetched that Diddy gave the feds his supplier? Is it far-fetched that Diddy is working with the feds in this situation to keep some of the heat off of him? Now, Suge Knight spoke out about this situation after his houses was raided. And Suge Knight said, the feds didn't raid Puff Daddy's house to find anything to arrest him. Suge Knight said, the feds raided Puff Daddy's house to confiscate anything that can connect the higher ups in this situation and to destroy it. He's not the only one. A young lady, I think her name Morgan Owens, Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm gonna put the picture right here. She also said the same thing. She said, no, the feds is not going in there looking for nothing to connect Puff Daddy to this sex trafficking allegations. She said, the feds is going in there to find evidence and hide it to protect the higher ups. Do that sound far-fetched? Y'all get in the comments and let me know. Hey, man, this getting messy, messy, messy. I ain't gonna lie. My opinion, I think Diddy probably gave that drug supply up, gang. He gonna get, hey, listen, if you connected to Diddy, hey, whatever y'all had got going on, whatever evidence you got, you better get rid of because I'm trying to tell you, Diddy is not finna go down. Diddy is not. It ain't in his character. Diddy gonna do whatever he gotta do to stay free. That's why he was pacing back and forth like that because he's trying to figure out his next move. And when I say figure out his next move, he trying to figure out what he gotta do and who he gotta work with to get out this situation. Y'all get in the comments and tell me what you think, man. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Hey, do me a favor. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. I'm starting something different. I'm starting to set goals for the videos. This video goal right here is a thousand likes on the video if you support the channel if you like the content 
hit that like button and comment down below when you done and what like you was and i'm gonna give you a shout out wake up you need to promote your company every day you wake up you need to promote your brand a lot of people don't like to pay for promotion well guess what you need to turn into a promoting guru marketing is the number one key to success a lot of people is not making it in life when it comes to company businesses or music or talent whatever it is the product you're selling whatever it is because not enough people have seen or know you exist you can have the best product in the world you could be the best rapper in the world you can have the best company in the world but if we don't know you exist how can we engage you need to put it in their face every day. You post it every day. I don't care if you get one like, post it again, post it again, post it again. They either go unfollow you or they go engage. If I see something come across my phone five, six times, I'm going to eventually tap on it to see what it's about. Marketing, promoting is the key to success. Y'all better get to it. Music 101. Promo alert. Listen, if you guys want promo, DM me on Instagram at Music 101 CEO. Music 101 CEO. I'm doing $20 promo. For $20, you will get one video promoted on my YouTube channel. For $40, I will promote three videos for you in my YouTube channel. $60, I'll promote six videos for you in my YouTube channel. And $120, I will promote 12 videos for you on my YouTube channel. You need YouTube promo? You trying to get your business up? You trying to run your numbers up? Hit me up at Music 101 CEO. Hey, you don't want to miss it. The results is great. Thank you, Music 101 CEO. Thank you, baby. We're on the road to 100K, and I need y'all help. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button. When you see my videos, hit that like button. It helped push my videos in the algorithm. It helped more people see my videos, and it also give me a chance to get more subscribers. Y'all already know I can't do it without y'all, man.